Okay, Warrior Squad, before we begin this upper and lower muscle building tone and sculpt session, I'm going to showcase the first exercise, which is an Arnold press like that there. So if you have the two dumbbells coming up and around like that for two sets, if you have only uh, one dumbbell or one kettlebell, you know what to do, just press up over the head. This can also be performed from a kneeling position if you want to sort of make it a wee bit more difficult. However, if you're standing, you're getting a bit of extra core engagement, so just go for the standing if you want to. But if your weight is a bit light, I would go kneeling position and try to rev it out, therefore it'll make it harder. So, 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off, two sets for each exercise, 10 exercises in total. Let's do this together. Hangers away. <clears throat> okay. Let's go. So if your weight is heavy, I want you to sort of slow it down, focus on good form. If it's light, rev it out. Go intensely. As I always say. About 10 seconds here on the clock. Nice. Okay. 15 seconds of recovery. Get ready for the second set. So this is how we're really going to be focusing on building lean and tone muscle. For any of the new members here, this is the sort of training side that we like to add into these workouts to therefore shape off our physique. It's brilliant doing the high intensity stuff, but you really want to try to add that progressive overload into your training to actually therefore build a lean and tone muscle and sculpt your uh, physique. Ah. Feeling it? Right, about 10 seconds remaining, try to go for another few reps. Another rep. Nice. Okay, the next one is our sumo stance. Deadlift pulse squats. So just hold the weight, come down. And up and go two weights and one weight. Okay, it's one of my favorite squat variations, this one. Toes slightly point, point, pointing outwards and pull it down with the pulse. So it's just upper, then straight into the lower. Okay, so we've done two sets of our overhead presses. Now we're doing two sets of these. Squat, so move stance, pulse squats. Sign it up. Even though this is a muscle building workout, as I always say, you are burning fat. The intensity is still extremely high. Most people go into the gym, they'll do a set, rest about two to three minutes, and then go again. We're only resting 20 seconds, and we're lifting heavy weight. Let's go again. That pulse makes the difference. Ah. So one right down. Deep range of motion. 15 seconds remain. Five seconds on the clock. Nice. Okay, the next one is high row. So you're bent over, okay, and I want you to row up like that only if you have the two weights. If you have the one weight, just row up towards almost like your upper chest. So not your stomach, so you're not rowing in here, you're rowing up a wee bit higher. That's if you have the one weight. 
Right, let's go for it. So two dumbbells up. Like that. Oh, that's heavy. I'm just struggling to try to get about 8 to 12 reps here. Ah, 10 seconds on the clock. Come on. Whoever thinks that these real time workouts are not effective, they have to hit try any of them free sessions on YouTube. Like we are only going to get better and better with these Warrior Squad sessions and programs. Alright, second set. Get ready. This is not easy, these rules. Alright, 8 to 12 reps is my target. Ooh. Burn out, keep it going if you have a few reps in you. Three seconds left. Okay, the next one is close stance squats, okay? So hold one weight and hold two weights if you want, just down to your side. Feet, chest width apart, and you're just squatting down, okay? Squat now now. <clears throat> Feet, chest width apart. Keep the back upright in front. Throw the breathing. My heart rate is up. Five seconds. Good. 15 seconds of recovery. And then we go again. Woo. Okay, second set. Go five seconds. Okay, right, there we go. About 15 seconds remaining. Five seconds. Okay, good. We're just gonna do push-ups now. Just normal push-ups. I'm gonna throw in a diamond grip if you want to go for it. If not, just do your normal push-ups. You can perform them on your knees. <sighs> okay, let's go for it. We gon' break up, then we make up. Act like we're gonna be friends. There's the fire, take me higher. Now this is not easy. This here. But as always, you just take your time, drop to your knees if you need to, just push your own body, it's you against you, every one of these sessions. Five seconds remaining of recovery, and away we go again. Woo! Is it? Yeah. Oh, burn 
good. Trying to push one body. Go as hard as you can. Shoot me, shoot with these one games. Come on. Next work. Okay, the next one is a reverse lunge with the knee if you can with the weight of the pegs to your lunging bag and then throw it in the knee. We've done that in a high intensity session with just our body weight. Let's see if we can do a bit of weight here. Lunge bag, up, knee. So the thing about these strength sessions, you're still blasting body fat, you're burning a lot of calories and you're shaping off your physique. That's where so many people go wrong with training. You know, they think they want to lose weight, so they just do a hell of a lot of cardio and no actual strength training. Therefore, when they lose weight, they have no shape. And this is one thing about our training. We are building and toning and sculpting as well as glass and stop and body fat. Ah, keep going. Even holding these two dumbbells here is working the upper body as well as you do in these lunges for the lower body. Oh, that's not easy. Right squad, the next one, lying back. If you have only one weight, we're doing our press like that. Two weights, neutral, elbows tucked in, pressing up like that. Okay. Let's go for it. Elbows tucked in tight, and right up, press. Let's go. Mm, one more set of these. We're flying through this session here. Okay, squad, ready to go again. Triceps are absolutely burning. Oh. Oh, set. Right, the next one is curls, okay? Now, if you have only one weight, a kettlebell, curl it up like that anyway. If you have the two weights, I want you to do cross body hammer curls, right? It's gonna to be tough now at this stage here for me. Right up with that. To be honest, you can do any curl variation you want, okay? But I just want to throw in this crossbody hammer curl and keep the squeeze. Oh. Oh. 
Yeah, Sags, come on. Good. One more set of these, and then one more leg exercise, and then we finish off with triceps. Okay? Right, red rock. Okay. Fifteen seconds. Let's push it out. Ten seconds on the clock. Let's go, squad. Come on. Keep digging. Okay, side lunges is next. That's the one where we're holding the weight. And we're lunging down to one side, up, lunging down to the opposite side. That good stretch. Up, stretch it down that one side. 20 seconds remaining. after this goes to show you how quickly and effectively 20 minutes can go by to get in the scene session okay ready to go right down to one side up down to the opposite side keep pushing twenty seconds Let's go. <sighs> Brilliant. Overhead tricep extensions is next. Okay. Hot off this one. Just up over the head with the weight. And you do it from the kneeling position to make that way a bit more difficult. Fifteen seconds, let's go. Again, these are just quick 20 minute sessions to get a feel for the training that's going to come. We already done a good strength and conditioning session, a high intensity workout, a now an upper and a lower muscle building session. When the workouts are going to be lasting around 20 to 30 minutes, within our brand new shred and sculpt program. 25 seconds, let's go, wrap it out. Fifteen seconds. Oh. Oh. 
Keep it going, five on the clock. How is that not gonna see results? There it is, Warrior Squad. What a hell of an upper body, lower sculpt and tone session. Goes to show you how effective this training style is. These real time workouts, real, real results. And trust me, if you continue to be consistent now, especially with this new program starting next week, you're gonna get into the best shape and the best half of your life. And if you are doing your own type of a training and even adding in a few extra walks or core work or whatever it is, you're really going to speed up the success rate with this training style. And it goes to show you that there really is no excuse once it comes to getting in shape. So I cannot wait now to get started next week with our Sculpt and Shred Transformation Program. If you have any mates or anyone who is interested in joining Warrior Squad, make sure you send them as soon as possible to get joined up before I close the doors now today. So make sure that they get signed up so they're ready, prepared to get stuck straight into this transformation program. And as always, incredible work. Make sure you let me know how you get on within the group with this session. Get ready, get prepared, get focused. Enjoy your weekend and get ready to kick off Monday with a bang. Let's do this together.